All right, YouTube, what is going on, guys? David Hammond, beautiful Mother Nature, and in today's tutorial, guys, we are speaking of three tips or techniques to instantly look better on camera. Now, as a bit of context, this can be whether you're in front of the camera, it can be behind the camera, maybe you're shooting portraits of people, it really doesn't matter, these tips can really apply to, uh, to really everything all throughout, okay? So, let's get straight to it with these three tips, and the first one, guys, is going to be understanding camera angles, okay? Excuse me if you hear these birds in the background, I cannot do anything about it, I've been trying to get them to shut up. Okay, anyways, now guys, what I mean by camera angles is basically you need to understand that a, the Every camera angle is gonna have a different psychological effect. And yes, I mean that. Like, the way you interpret a photo is going to differ based on how it was taken. So as an example, if I have the camera, right, or if I have a person I'm shooting, right, or maybe I am the person that's getting shot, if someone's shooting me from an above angle, subconsciously how that's kind of portraying the image is this person is more submissive, maybe a bit weaker, maybe a bit more passive. They're kind of looking up, right? And think about it, look this way. If you're standing on a hill or you're on a building and you're looking down at all these people, they're looking up at you. They kind of look small. They look kind of weak. It looks like they're just tiny. Does that make sense? But the exact opposite happens if you are shooting upwards. So if you're the person being shot, or you're shooting someone and you're shooting them um, where you're below them shooting upwards, they're going to look more powerful. They're going to look bigger. It's just like if someone's, you know, on stairs or on a little mountain and you're looking up to them, they just appear superior. They just look bigger. Now, I'm not saying you have to shoot at a low angle or a high angle. I'm just kind of, I want to bring awareness to this because I see, t I see a lot of times with photos, people will shoot at an angle and they don't really know why they did that, right? So I just wanted to be aware of that effect. And if you're confused or you don't know, just shoot neutral. Like you can never go wrong with like an eye to eye level as that's what most pictures are taken of, right? All right guys, let's get with the second tip and this is going to be your actual body position, okay? Now kind of think of it this way, whether you stand on your right side or your left side, the right side of your face, the left side of your face, generally speaking, people prefer a side of their body, right? So if you ask someone to stand, right? Look, kind of look at the way they stand. They may slouch to a certain way. They may lean to a certain way. They may look a certain way. Naturally, people kind of like a side of their body more than uh, other things. I know it sounds really weird and super like vain and stuff like that, but it's the truth. It's kind of like you're going to feel more confident that way. It's going to look better. It's not going to be as awkward, and uh, that will transmute over to having a better photo. And the third tip, guys, this is something that is really big. I did not realize this at the beginning, and I feel a lot of people don't. This is the actual camera lens, okay? So what you're shooting on. Now, what I mean by that is something called distortion, okay? So this is a pretty wide angle lens, basically meaning everything is kind of smushed inwards, right? Everything is kind of smushed in so it can get everything. This is a 10 to 18 millimeter, it's on like 14 mils. Um, the exact opposite happens if you're shooting at a high focal length. So if I'm shooting on an 80 millimeter, right? Or even like a 50 millimeter, it's going to be, the distortion and compression is gonna be completely different. Things are gonna be wider. So as a rule of thumb, the higher the number of the focal length, the technically fatter you're gonna look. And now here's where I'm coming full circle with it. Choose a lens that you feel looks best for you. As a rule of thumb, the 50 millimeter lens is right in the middle, so that's how our eye looks. So if I'm looking at a tree, and I hold a 50 millimeter lens to it, and then take it off, it's gonna look the same. If it's below 50, it's gonna look narrower. If it's above 50, it's gonna look wider, generally speaking, okay? So find a lens that you think looks good for you or the person you're shooting. So that is it, guys. Guys, tutorial quick and short I know this kind of seems like it may be a bit vain or whatever but um, the reality is is that photography is happening all over cameras are wherever you go and social media is a thing you know these are little things that I picked up myself being in front of the camera and behind the camera with uh, how to look better on camera just like an instant quick little way okay and uh, yeah it works so I hope you guys took this video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you guys are new here my name is David I do videos all on outdoor photography videography and my lifestyle so that is it guys thank you all so much for watching I will see you on the next one until then much, I don't know what that was till then much love peace